Hello amazing people and how are you on this wonderful day? Janine here. As a mindset alchemist, I love helping you understand that power, that chemistry, that absolute creativity between your thoughts, your words and your feelings and the story you're telling yourself. Because when you change your story, you change your life. How does it get any better than this? As part of this, I like to bring the potential of the energy of the week forward for you each week of the month as well. And this month is a, a very beautiful one in that you're taking stock, you're looking at things, you're creating things. And uh, it's also been a bit of a heavy energy. However, it's when you choose to be playful with that energy, you see what you can learn through it, what you can become through it, that you are able to move forward. And this week you are asked to be strong. Last week you were asked to start doing it and to get moving. And this week you're being asked to be strong so that when things come forward that appear to be a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit difficult, look at them and say, Thank you for coming forward. You are all part of the energy of this week to help me grow, to expand and to become more creative. So when somebody's shouting at you, I know it's very difficult, but look at them and just say, that's an interesting point of view in your mind, that they have that point of view and look at it and see where's the merit in what they are saying. When somebody hands you a bunch of roses, thank them, be grateful. It doesn't matter what's happening. Choose to know that you are fully supported and that it, you have the strength and the power within you to navigate this week because you are being asked to look at what is your passion, how are you creating your purpose, which has been most of this year because it's a foundational year, and to look at the bumps in the road. See them as little bumps, not as Mount Everest's or Mount Kilimanjaro's. They really are just bumps in the road that are there to slow you down a little bit so that you can take stock uh, this week of what it is you're creating. Are you enjoying what you are creating? Are you meant to be creating it? And to look at, oh, look at what I'm manifesting. Am I manifesting more debt or am I manifesting more cash flow? Which one would I prefer to have? Where's my focus going that I'm beginning to manifest this? Be strong, be curious, be passionate and manifest what you choose to have. Look and see what's going. Knock, knock, knock. Pay attention to me. Knock, knock, knock. Pay attention to me this week. Everywhere, every time you should. But this week specifically. Because there's a person or a situation coming forward that is going to help you manifest what you've been asking for, to step forward into what you've been asking to create, that cash flow you've been asking for, that work position you've been looking to move to. That is what's coming forward this week. And look at what a common theme is in your life. Do you keep fighting with the same person? Do you keep making the same, do, do you keep experiencing the same situation? Because it is so vitally important that you look at it and say, hmm, do I wish to keep you? Am I asking to release you? If you keep winding up in a cycle where you have, I call it the boom and bust cycle. Are you in a boom phase or are you in a bust phase? And how does it keep coming forward to you? And what are you going to do to shift this so that you can shift into your power and start living your passion. I didn't say your work has to be your passion, but start living that passion of yours because you are being given a message saying it's your time now to move forward, to step into where you're being asked to go and to grow so that you can go. That should actually be the phrase for this week. Are you feeling a bit heavy? Are you feeling a bit irritable? That's okay. Shine love on it. Uh, choose to release it and replace it with seeing, oh, maybe I'm not meant to be doing it this way. What other way can I do it? Maybe I'm not meant to be doing it with this person. Whom else are you bringing forward? Oh, I'm meant to do it by myself. Well, how am I meant to be doing it? What am I meant to be doing? And to give you an example this morning, I'll give you an example this morning. When we got up, we thought, are we going to go uh, boating or shall we run first? So we chose to run first. And by the time we finished, we had, you know that song, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head? Well, that's what was happening. So we decided to go to the shop. 
Well, when we came out, the sun's shining. So did we waste our time or not? Well, we got the shopping done. And it's looking at what is most aligned at that moment in time. And by the way, we still are going to go boating because the sun's out again. I put my washing out and next thing the, the clouds came out. And I went, no, no, we're not doing this. And I would like to have dry washing. And I manifested some uh, uh, sunshine. So hopefully my washing will get dry. That's how I'm working with the energy of this week. The heavy and irritable, guess what? Start asking, whose is this? Return to Mother Earth to be transmuted back to us as light, love, laughter and light. Return to sender with consciousness attached and just keep repeating it. When something or somebody's irritating you and you're not, um, you know who it is, then you just look at it and say, hmm, I shine light on this, I look at it with the eyes of love, because what is it coming forward to work with me for? Where am I being asked to heal something so that like last week I can come into wholeness to be part of the oneness? Because as you're being part of that oneness, you are going to be being brought ideas, ways of creating, and just generally moving forward in a much, moving with flow rather than battling against the current. And asking where you're going to be in alignment with yourself, with your purpose. Because if you are irritable, you're not in alignment. You're not in alignment with the situation. You're not in alignment with what's being brought forward. And you're definitely not in alignment with what you're being asked to create. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's cash flow. Maybe it's something new. Maybe it's just dinner. What are you being asked to create? This week is also a time of rebirth where you are being asked to step forward to own what is yours. You might feel pain. You know like when you've run and your legs are a bit, well maybe you don't know, but your legs are a bit achy. Was it worth it? Absolutely. It's like, do I wish to do the dishes? No. Do I wish to have a clean kitchen? Yes. So I get on with the pain of washing the dishes, do some meditation, pack them away and have a clean kitchen. It's that sort of situation. Do I enjoy having to do stock take? No, but I like to know what's in my shop. Therefore, we do the stock take so we can have the results of did we make a profit? Did we make a loss? What can we tweak? What can't we tweak? Do I enjoy spending time with this person? No. However, I learn lessons from them. So I don't have to be social with them. However, I can work with them alongside them and through what it is we're working through together. What lesson are they bringing me and what lesson am I bringing them? And let us both step forward to the prize at the end. There's definitely rewards for the pain that's coming forward. There's very much also an element of passion, of playfulness, where you are being asked to release your worries and your concerns because really, they're not going to do anything except bring more of them. So if you're worried about money, start saying, what are the infinite possibilities of creating cash flow? If you're worried about your work, what are the infinite possibilities of my income carrying on? It may be where you're working, it may be somewhere else. Maybe if you're not getting on with your boss and you keep saying life is always working out for me, your boss moves or you get moved around your boss to another department that you do enjoy working with. This is what the energy of this week is about, where you release your concerns over the future and you focus and appreciate what it is you have and what it is you would like to have in the now. Very much, you're also being asked, get outside enjoy the outdoors connect with nature step into that beautiful power being brought forward by it with nature this week and restore your energy you're going to be asked to use it so it's restore it you're also being asked to show your love to the people around you the things that you own in your home or where you're staying to your situations and to your business appreciation gratitude and love are three of the very and having fun are some of the key words for this week smile and light up the world inside you and around you it may be a grimace to start off with it might be a i'm smiling <laughs> And guess what? You'll start laughing. Go and make faces in the mirror at yourself. Get out of the heaviness and get into the joyfulness. That is what you're being asked to do this week because that is how you will remain strong and you will create at a much better aligned level. This is a time for manifesting and actualizing what you have been 
working towards. It's also a time where you can be launching new projects. You're Like last week, you're being asked to take action. And maybe the action is just sitting still long enough to plan your strategy for the rest of the year. And focus on what it is you are being asked to create. What it is you know you should create. And if you don't know, that's the action. Sit down and uh, start looking at it. You are being asked to visit your vision, your dream, your goals. What it is you are looking to create. And people, I keep seeing this over and over. You cannot go somewhere you don't know where it is. So create your vision. It can be something as small as your next meal. Visualize your next meal. Visualize what it is you would like to eat and to have. What car would you like to be driving? What home? How would you like to uh, restore your home, shift your home around? Start visualizing it, feeling it. Get into the vision of what it is you would like to create. You are creating and be it this week. Have a wonderful one. Bye-bye.